So now we're on to the Speed Triple 1200 RS. The bad boy. Oh, riding position is different. Oh, the shifter is in a different place too. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels, feels totally different. Oh yeah, the brakes are amazing. Well, the initial bite's amazing. Oh, rear brake's good too. The other one was a bit lacking. Oh, baby. That's more like it. That's what I was expecting from the other bike. Oh shit, we're riding into rain. Oh well. He doesn't seem to care. If he don't care, I don't care. Let's go, boy. Oh yeah, that's more like it. I can't remember what mode he put it in, I wasn't watching, but I think he put it in sports mode and said, this will be right for you, or something to that effect. So obviously he's uh, he's playing ball with me today. Oh yeah, quick shift is just as good, obviously. Not going to be any worse, is it? Oh yeah, just pull out your fucking knob jockey. Uh, the shift is quite stiff actually. It's a lot stiffer than that other one was. Really stiff actually, I can't even get into neutral. Get into neutral you fucker. No. Yes. Ah, trash control's off. I don't think he did that on purpose, did he? Fuck yeah. This thing's gonna be a bad boy. <laughs> this if you can read this kanji that means that says shijosha which just means test ride vehicle it says it there as well so yeah the tank feels definitely bigger and taller i guess it's more you'll be able to get into that tuck a little bit better but no screen no screen on it a little fly screen would be nice i reckon cable clutch again as well Brembo master cylinder, Brembo brakes, Olin's forks, Olin's rear shock. It's got all the goodies, man. It's got the good price to go with it too, but uh, yeah. Hopefully he's gonna take me on the long course again because that was actually an enjoyable ride. It wasn't too busy with traffic or anything like that. Suspension's definitely stiffer, I can feel it straight away. This feels like it will pull and pull and pull. Oh, I wish you could. Oh, no. sorry. <laughs> I'm not in charge, am I? <laughs> I'm trying to overtake, but I gotta follow him. I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. into neutral ah okay it's in she's in these mirrors are good too nice big hill I wonder if he'd go mad if I overtook him on the back wheel <laughs> what are these forks oh that's cool so compressions on the left and rebound is on the right interesting cool gearbox is quite noisy 
quite clunky feeling. Can't get into neutral though. Very tricky to get it into neutral. Seems to be easier to go from second into neutral. Yeah, we recording. <laughs> wheelies really well oh mama this is more like I honest to god I thought why would anyone need any more than 120 horsepower surely the 765 is is more than enough for the road is what I thought now I've ridden this I'm like nah fuck that 765 1200 where is that baby <laughs> it's sort of got an urgency like a v-twin it sort of somewhat feels like my super duke but so obviously when you've got a big v-twin you've got monstrous amounts of torque and you know like not massive top end power but this feels like it's got well obviously i mean that's the whole point of a triple but you can you can really feel it so you can feel that it's got torque, but you can also feel that it's got a bit of top end power as well. Like, I don't know what revs I've, I've been doing because it's hard to, because I'm trying, you know, brand new bike, never ridden before, roads that I've never ridden on before. So I'm sort of concentrating on the actual riding rather than looking at stuff in front of me. So I've got no idea what kind of revs I was at, but it just felt like you get to the mid, you get, say you get to about 5,000 and it, it's pretty talky up to that point. And then it like, it kicks in again. It's like a VTEC baby, it's like a Honda Civic on steroids! Or something like that. Oh, I, I like it. Really like it. Oh man, this dude's like blowing me away now. Yeah, it's, it's a nice sound. Definitely a nice sound. I guess you could say if the 675s and the 765s are like basically these days they're considered to be middleweights this is the big daddy no doubt about it I mean you you, you can't call this a middleweight it's I guess it's a, a muscle bike that handles and that's what these naked bikes have become isn't it like the modern day big nakeds have just become like muscle bikes that actually stop and actually go around corners and actually perform well like bikes of the yesteryear like v-maxes and stuff i mean if you could put a v-max engine in a modern chassis with all the electronic gubbins and uh, like the best suspension you could get with a lightweight proper chassis i, th I think that would be a good bike and that's kind of like what this reminds me of it it's like a really tall a really tight and well-performing VMAX. <laughs> I know that's a really stupid explanation, but I don't know why, but that's what, what popped into my head. Uh, I, want, I want more than a test ride. I want to rent this for the day. It's fucking hot though. My legs are boiling. What are my legs touching? Oh, the frame. Damn, the frame's hot. My legs are touching the frame and I can feel the heat of it. What's that? Has it got an exhaust flap or something? Hmm. Seems like the exhaust changes note when you release the clutch. I'm not even touching the throttle, so why? Well, I'm not touching the throttle. It must have like that um, assist thing to stop you from stalling. Wasn't touching the throttle then, but I was just letting the clutch out gently, lightly, and uh, the bike revved by itself. Maybe it does have that anti-stalling feature on it. Oh my God, it's hot. 
I'm only wearing jeans, but fuck, my, my legs are boiling. Now, I believe we'll be going left here, like we did before. Ah, oh, bollocks. Opportunity to do a wheelie here. Yeah, this fucking neutral bitch. Proper suspension. Compression is quite slow. I guess it might have uh, high and low speed compression settings because going over bumps it feels really, really smooth and plush. But just when you're stopped and you're pushing it down, you're doing like that tire kicking test that people always do when they buy a bike. Uh, yeah, the suspension's no good. Yeah, you can't tell that from pushing it up and down in the bloody car park, you muppet. But yeah, I would say it's probably got adjustable high and low speed compression. See what I mean about that turning in, you guys. Ah, oh, the brakes are really good. The initial bite on the brakes is beautiful. Beautiful. I want to wheelie, I want to wheelie, I want to wheelie. What? The ABS just kicked in. What's that all about? At that kind of speed? Hmm, that's weird. What the hell are they building here? Uh, out the way, slow car. Out the way, slow car. You're spoiling our fun. This guy wants our fun too. I guess I, I better ask him to give me an estimate just to sort of, you know, show that I'm willing, even though I'm not. There's no way I can afford one of these. I might as well just ask him for a, a quotation. Make him feel as if he hasn't wasted his time. <laughs> Let me ride these expensive bikes. Ah, why do I keep using the clutch? You don't need the clutch, TJ. Is there any more straights? I still want to do another wheelie. A wheelie, a wheelie, a wheelie, a wheelie. Oh yeah, the handle is awesome. Very, very flickable, very light on the steering. Arupaka. Hmm. Some cool little cafes around here. Oh, come on, man, just go to the front. Uh, I'm so glad that you put it in traction control off mode for me. Our uh, left, is it? What's left? Did we go left before? All right, if you say so. If you say so, pal. Maybe he's, tr he's trying to take me on a straight because he wants to see me do massive wheelies. What's this one like? It doesn't feel any different to be honest. You can definitely pick a line and stick to it. Beautiful! Oh shit, I'm going to get wet on the way home. Maybe I can use that as an excuse to go home. Oh, I've got to go man, it's going to rain. Sorry. Yeah, freaking great handling. 
Oh, I'm so thankful that this guy, this sales guy, is cool as. Whenever I've done a test ride before where I've had to follow a, um, a salesman, they drive like 50 kilometers an hour everywhere and they're like, they don't overtake anyone and it's just it's absolute torture but coming out with this guy it was actually good fun so i'm gonna thank this guy what was his name ezaki ezaki san his name is so guys if you ever want to come for a test ride for a, a triumph or an mv augusta or a ducati in nagoya then uh you want to get in touch with me and i'll give you this old boy's details because this guy is rocking i like his style he must be watching me doing wheelies and he obviously doesn't care <laughs> you think he'd be like saying stop it putting his hand up or something if he saw me ah uh, this is more like it though this is a monster get into neutral bitch are you supposed to do that maybe that's how this gearbox works are you supposed to put it into neutral from second because it's like wait, let's put it in first nope but you just slap it down a bit from second and it goes in really easily but I'll just go really gently no, can't get it in. Can't get it in. It won't go in, as the actress said to the bishop. Oh, we're riding into the rain, man. Rain, man! So this is the place to be, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Togo Town. Togo Town, baby! That's where you're going to get the nice... The nice test rides with Mr. Ezaki, who is, as I've just discovered, a legend. Oh, very smooth, actually. Now we're just putting along in third. I'm at, I'm under 3,000 RPM. I'd like to obviously accelerate to show you what kind of torque it's got in third, but I can't do that. It's got some though. Only, my only complaint about this is that the gearbox is very stiff. It's very hard to get in. It's like me. It's stiff and hard to get in. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I really want to get home before this freaking rain starts coming down. Go on, dude, go. Will it do a third gear, Mingo? No, I don't want to piss him off too much. <laughs> Let's be sensible from now on. Let's do that third gear roll on test I was telling you about. Right, so three and a half thousand RPM. Full roll. And it just goes. What about that in fourth? Right, 4,000, 3,000 RPM. Fourth gear, I mean. Whack it open. Yep, it just goes. It's a very tractable engine. There's no reason you couldn't be uh, taking this to work or commuting around town on it. And the traffic light Grand Prix you would have would be spectacular. No one would be able to touch you. Okay. I'm not gonna go in the right lane. You letting me cool down, are ya? You think <laughs> you probably be like, no, there's a straight. This fucker's definitely gonna do wheelie. Let's stick behind this little silver car and stop him from causing any unnecessary risk to the bike. The indicators are quite, they're really soft. You don't know whether it's um, engaged or not. There's no click like with old fashioned bikes. Oh, a bit of a pop and a bang from the exhaust there. I wonder why the ABS did kick in a few times though. What tyres are on this? Are they those like track day tyres maybe? Maybe that's why. Yeah, still can't get into neutral. Very difficult.
<laughs> Sounds good, eh? And here we are back to this amazing shop. I'm really surprised that I've never been here before. It's freaking amazing. The inside of this shop is huge and it's just full of amazing like exotica. It's seen so many MV Augustas, Ducatis and Triumphs under one roof was just like mind blowing. Uh, cancel the indicator. Ah oh, shit dude, I'm totally gonna get soaked on the way home. It's just Muppet doing. getting a bit of vibes through the bar though that's something else I forgot to mention the uh, the smaller one no vibrations whatsoever this one I'm feeling a bit my hands have taken a bit of a battering kind of thing definitely got good brakes Alrighty, so that's the end of my test ride. Okay. Yeah. Neutral. Okay. Iyo kore. Kore iyo. Yappari kore ga ii. Do you have to kiss no? Ah, two times, ne? Oh, cute. Cute, ne? Ah. Yeah. Very very cute, but neutral is very cute. Very cute. What is up guys? Guess what? I've just finished my test ride and now the heavens have literally opened up like crazy crazy thunderstorm, super loud thunder, massive streaks of lightning, the roads are all flooded and I have got to ride my Suzuki home which has recently started misfiring in the rain so I'm gonna have an absolutely miserable ride home but I've got to do it because it's nearly four o'clock and I've got to go and pick up my daughter from school so lucky me! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's test ride video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please do subscribe to my channel. All right guys, see you in the next video. Goodbye.